Hello family, this is Greg coming to you once again from faithsmessenger.com. We are concluding our series today on the characteristics of a good church. And I want to conclude by saying there was a certain woman who approached her pastor to tell him that she was going to be leaving the church. The pastor asked the woman, well, why are you leaving? Why are you taking your family away from the church? And she said, you know, I just don't feel love here. I just don't feel the love in this congregation. The pastor asked the woman, well, do you have love in your heart? And the woman said, yes, by all means, I do have love. I do love other people. And the pastor said, well, dear God, don't take away the element, the very element that you, by your own admission, say that we are lacking. And what I mean to say by that is we've covered a lot of territory in this series. We've discussed a lot of different topics. And even though this is not an all-inclusive list of characteristics of a good church, it could be that you are in your quest to find those missing characteristics. Maybe God has put you there to supply one of those characteristics. So don't necessarily strike off a church from your list because it doesn't have one of the characteristics we talked about. Um, pray about it, seek the Lord. Ultimately, He has planted you in a certain place. He has a vision for you. He has a vision for your family. So earnestly pray about it, earnestly seek the Lord, and don't necessarily cross off the, uh, your list because the church you're currently attending doesn't have one of the characteristics. Like I said, it could be that God has placed you in that church to supply as opposed to receive. So I thank you for taking this journey with me. I've learned a lot. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.